let's talk about some more current events. Oh, Bill Cosby, what's what's going on with him? Um, the what? scandal. Do you believe it? Do you not believe it? No. Do you think I would sit here if I would tell you I believe it? I wouldn't tell you. I don't know you that well. <laughs> no. But I know it's a trick. You've been here long enough. No athlete can do anything they want to do, and nothing happens to them. Huh? Right. Big business pay the government ten billion dollars, but they don't have to admit they broke a law. Huh? Okay. Mm-hmm. Desante, bottled water, mm-hmm. Coca-Cola, the largest fine in the history of Europe. They was fined nine hundred million dollars. Because they take ordinary tap water, purify it with uh, benzene and another poison. Nobody go to jail. Nobody go to jail. Right. And so, and so consequently, let's look at Bill Cosby. Mm-hmm. Where did they find all these women? They didn't know each other. Hmm? And when they finally bring the judge in and open up the records, that happened after the 4th of July holiday. Huh? Judges don't work on the weekends. Hmm? So where did it come from? It came after all the barbecues and the trumpet was back home. Here it is. Hmm? The judge. Here's what the judge said. Told Bill, you should get you some more lawyers. The judge said that. Why? Because the judge, the judge said, "Well, give me a reason why I shouldn't open these up." He said it would embarrass Bill's family. His lawyers said that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What about the women? Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. But here's what happened. Bill Cosby was getting ready to buy. NBC. White supremacy came in and said, I have a right to. Well, you see, there's a thing called racist white folks giving them a liberation holiday. That's what Cosby show was. He didn't know it. Huh? You ever met a black person named Huskable? Dr. Huskable? Huh? I'm sorry, I haven't. Okay. That name don't threaten white folks. Hmm. Huh? So when you put this show on and come out with facts, white folk can't wait to get the Bill Cosby show. And so what you dig is complaining about if it was like Bill Cosby, went to school, got a good education, look at your children. Them, them children be going somewhere on Saturday dressed up. Everybody else is going. Rich white folk going to the park. Hmm? That's, a, that's what you call a, a liberation holiday. He's not aware of it. Huh? That was the game. A liberation holiday. Okay? So this show here, you put stuff out there, they can't get a liberation holiday. Mm. Huh? Mm-hmm. It's, it's, un, it's uncut. It's pure. Yeah, and so, and so consequently, when the Bill Cosby thing hit, he was negotiating buying NBC. Oh, that's when he killed his son. You ever ask yourself wow. a question? White folks loved Bill Cosby so much. They had commercials, man, where little white children was riding his back eating tapioca out of his eardrums. Daddy Bill. Hmm? And so, how do they kill my son and I can't get a commercial? No more Jell-O commercial. I didn't kill nobody. My son didn't kill nobody. What's this about? Hmm? That's what it's about. Hmm? He knew something that most folk didn't know. That Mercedes he bought him. They had three boots. They only had them, then anybody can get them now. You get a flat, it reboots its own self. Hmm? That's technology. He knew that. Plus, you know what kind of fool you got to be to want to rob somebody on the highway? And that shit ended with stagecoaches, man. Huh? Cars traveling 30, 40, 50, 70 miles, and you going to wait out there to rob one? 
Did he get out and call a white woman? She shows up in a mink, mini skirt, mink coat, and high heel shoes to help him change the flat. When all you do is push your button, the flat changes itself. Bill knew that. Then if you look at the police report, I read it all. No robbery. He has six thousand dollars cash, all his credit card, cell phone. No robbery. Then six months later, they arrested an American, but he's a Russian immigrant. Right. So he did. When we checked that out, he was in Mexico that night. So Bill knows this. So now 30 years later, they just busted him. The, uh, Hannibal. Huh? Hannibal Burris. Hannibal Burris. Who? The comedian, Hannibal. Man, how come you ain't heard of him? They sent him there to do the trick, and you ain't heard of him. No more. Huh? It's a game. Hmm? You never heard of him before? You haven't heard of him now. Bill Cosby and his wife wake up dead tomorrow. Hmm? The world's convinced he committed suicide. Hmm? You hear me? Discovery Channel. Bankrupt. Bankrupt. Okay? The only thing saved it when Oprah couldn't do it was Holly Perry. Huh? Okay. They are bankrupt. Bill was thinking about. Huh? It's that simple. It's that simple. The Pope came to New York, went to Harlem. Al Sharpton wasn't there. Al Sharpton probably one of the most powerful Negroes in America because of the TV show, five days a week. The radio show, three hours a day, five days a week. He wasn't invited to Harlem at a black school, but he let them use him. Every time something went on with a cop and a black person, they bring him in, but don't give him the respect. Huh? To say, come on to Harlem, man, we got just his friends, the mayor, huh? all that. Huh? It's a game. Right, right. Same thing with Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods got busted for the same reason as Bill, Co Bill Cosby. Mm -hmm. huh? Tiger Woods had to do win four more to tie Jack Nicholas. Five to be the all time. So he gets busted. I know somebody that saw when he came to the hospital. She told me, if I didn't tell you this was Tiger Woods, you wouldn't know. That was a mob whooping. Wow. Huh? Now, so what did they do? They made a deal. They said, um, Tiger, here's what we got. We got a law called the Man Act, taking a woman across state lines for immoral purposes. We're not just getting you for that. That little 17 and a half year old girl you cared to watch you play tennis, I mean golf in, in Sweden, 20 years. Now let's sit like reasonable people. You can either do the 20 years, or we can make a deal now. You go back, play for a while, and on worldwide cameras, you're going to pull something in your back so the whole world will see it. And then eventually, you have to resign, retire. Last year, this time, and we talking about 2014, he was number one. Today, as we sit here, he's number 270. Hmm? Now they're already talking about retiring. That's what this is about. That's part of the fix. It makes me think of Michael Jordan's dad. He got killed on the side of the road. Michael knew that. Michael knew that they busted Michael. Michael ain't got no money. Michael broke. Hmm. That's chump stuff. Hmm. Hmm. It was like a gambling thing or something. Can like you that. know, gambling, broke. But this is now we got this one Negro, so we don't have to get no more. His wife filed for divorce, and they said he ain't got no money. Watch y'all just stay there. How did it come out? Hmm. Cause Michael Jordan, the restaurants he owned. He signed a contract where he would show up mm -hmm. 
X amount of times a year and they went to court and found he just had 2%. Hmm? So when they busted him, shaving points. Hmm? Then in the process, they said, oh, wow, man, uh, Magic Johnson's doing the same thing. So they said, oh, we're in trouble. Uh, that is basketball. So they made a deal. Magic, you say that you have AIDS and you're going to get out. <laughs> he kept gaining weight, man. Then the next thing you know, he was killed. Well, how come all them billionaire white folks that's dying from it didn't follow him? Hmm? He never had it. Okay? And that big scandal with the, the basketball owner out there. Oh, yeah, uh, uh, Sterling. Yeah, Sterling. That's a lover's quarrel. Absolutely. And he said, and Magic, you ought to apologize to the black community because he know Magic just get 2% of that. Hmm? See how it works? Yeah. So here's what they did with Michael. Found his daddy dead in a car. So I go talk to a couple of state troopers. They say in the car, he just bought that car for his dad. And the name of the salesperson in Illinois, his car was up there. Voted magic and all of them. We're going to get out. I'm just taking this. It's too hard. So he went to say, you want to play baseball. And once he cooled out, stay in shape, then he comes back. When Magic tried to come back. Malone said, I won't be out there playing with no AIDS. It's a, it's a game. And they arrested a black and an Indian who's in jail now. Somebody tape your two thumbs together. Your thumb, not your brain. You can't change your baby diaper. You can't comb your hair. You can't drive. Those two right there. Huh? That right there ain't nothing you can do. You can't unlace your shoe. You can't change your baby diaper. You can't cook. Those two. Huh? Mm -hmm. But they got you thinking it's your brain. For me, I feel that what Sydney was allowed to do in, in the heat of the night was the start of black exploitation.